Hey everybody, Straight Old Billy here doing song number 554 in 554 days in a row. Been doing one song every day, posting it on my Straight Old Billy YouTube channel. We're going to keep doing this until uh, the uh, COVID-19 pandemic is brought under control. We can go out and play some regular gigs again with the whole band, guitars, drums, more keyboards. Please check out the website, straydog.org, where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy, short for Stray Dog Bill Arnold. We'll get to that in a minute after today's song. This is a Pink Floyd tune called Wish You Were Here. Here we go. Yeah. So you think you can tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Can you tell a green field Or a cold steel rail Smile from a veil Do you think you can tell Did they get you to trade Heroes for ghosts, hot ashes for trees, hot air for a cool breeze, cold comfort for change. Did you exchange a walk on part in the war for a leave roll in the cage? you were here we're just two lost souls swimming in the fishbowl year after year running over the same old ground what have we found the same old fears wish you were here wish you were here that website <laughs> that no kill dog shelter stray dog my first wife the late Pat Arnold who passed on in 03 for brain aneurysm suddenly and unexpectedly she and I founded that no kill dog shelter back in 1994 we started actually started years before picking up and uh, rescuing stray dogs but we really got started with uh, 
a whole bunch of dogs in 94. And uh, we became a Texas nonprofit corporation then. In 1997, with the official name Stray Dog Incorporated. So that's really the official start of the shelter. And uh, that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS 501c3 tax exempt status, making all donations and contributions to the shelter tax deductible. We are still going strong today, still rescuing, rehabilitating when necessary, fixing, spaying and neutering, and adopting out as many of the rescues as we can. In the, uh, I want to talk about adoptions because that, the adopting out part is very, very important for all shelters because then we can rescue more, obviously. Every time we adopt one out, we can rescue another one. Now, in the year 20, I want to talk about adoptions across this country. From all 3,500 dog and, uh, and animal shelters across this country, adopted out in the year 2019. I have full figures for 2019. We adopted out across this country from all shelters, 3.2 million, 3.2 million dogs and cats were adopted out in 2019. <clears throat> 1.6 million dogs and 1.6 million cats just happened to be about an equal number in 2019. That's an average of 4,400 dogs adopted out every single day 4,400 cats adopted out every single day of the year 2019. A tremendous accomplishment from all the 3,500 shelters across, across the United States of America. Now, there's a very dark side, very tragic side to this overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world. And that is that we are still using euthanasia to get rid of the extras, the ones who haven't been adopted out. Euthanasia is meant to be used for terminally ill dogs and cats, fatally injured dogs and cats and other animals, so that they don't have to suffer. That's the purpose, that's the use, the good use of euthanasia. But we as a society, as I said, are still using it to get rid of extra surplus, the ones that can't find homes, that haven't found homes. We are still euthanizing across this country. 1,700, can you believe it? 1,700 dogs and cats, not for the whole year, every day, every day, 1,700 are being euthanized on the average. This is a terrible tragedy. 10 years ago, 11 years ago, was a lot worse. 7,000 per day were being euthanized because homes couldn't be found for them. 52 years ago in 1970, it was far, far worse. 41,000 dogs and cats were being euthanized every single day of the year 1970 because we couldn't find homes for them. Terrible, terrible tragedy. What do we have to do to get now at 1,700 Let's get it down to zero. We have to get complete control of conception and stop conception so that mama dogs and mama cats with the help of papa dogs and papa cats don't keep on delivering to us to take care for them, which we gladly do because that's our purpose, our mission. What do we have to do to get this use of euthanasia down to zero? Conception control, we gotta stop conception. And how do we stop conception? Well, we've known about this also for decades and decades and decades and decades. It's called spay and neuter in the dog and cat world. That's what we gotta do, everybody. We'll be back again tomorrow with another song from the Stray Dog Billy, One Man Band. <laughs>